Hello, welcome to my tech fun. I've been asked several times, so in this short video I would like to give you some kind of short tour what see the printers I'm using now in 2024. This is my workroom at home and the most important things are here, so I will leave it for the end. This is my wife's winter garden, but I got two desks here. This is Ender 3 V2 with a lot of modifications, uh, but most important are these linear rails and this is the Microsys NG extruder, which is great for TPU filaments because the distance between the pulley and the extruder or hot end is very small. But uh, in the last few months I don't use it too much since I moved to Mark IV for printing the TPU materials. Currently I'm installing the Big 3 Tech uh, Pad 7 here, so it will be clipperized. <laughs> this is the holder for my crypto. But this is NS3 S1 Pro. I use it a lot earlier because it can reach the temperatures up to 300 degrees Celsius. But nowadays, as you can see, I don't really use it too much. Actually, it is waiting the upgrade for the water cooling kit, but um, I'm not sure if I want to do it because I don't see too much purposes of it. Except if it will be inside the enclosure and the air cooling is not enough. This is that Creative Water Cooling Kit, which I have to install here, but when I started the installation a few months ago, I realized that it cannot use the water. Actually, I have to buy some kind of cooling liquid, like for the cooling of the PC computers and similar. Well, actually, now my wife wants back these two desks, but I think it's too late now. Oh, I have here V400 FS Sun Delta printer for the testing. Here you can see some boxes with the products waiting for the review. Babolab A1 Mini arrived yesterday. I have here 12 e Sun Pile Plus colors because I want to test the effect of the color to the strength. I have a Panda Touch for the Bamboo Lab, some camera, and actually I have here four different filament dryers from Sun Look, Reality, uh, Fix Dry, and the fourth one actually I cannot talk about it yet, but I was involved even in the development phase. Maybe you will see it in a May or something like that. And also I have three laser engravers waiting for the review. And now I'm in our living room and maybe you even notice that more and more videos I'm starting to record here but sometimes even the whole review as you can see one is in the progress and the reason for this is that here I have more natural light I don't have professional studio lights and the other is that uh, down in the basement where I started to record earlier I don't have any Wi-Fi or network connection and more and more products nowadays require some kind of network connection. So this is the second reason why I'm recording here. But I can do it only when I'm home alone, which is very hard because I have three kids, so I don't have too much time to record here. And now I'm on one of my favorite places. This is some kind of men's cave for me. I'm in the basement of uh, our building and when I get tired of all those female family members, don't forget I have wife and three daughters, well this is the place when I can run away. The main problem with this uh, location is that I don't have any kind of network or even mobile internet. Uh, this means that uh, more and more things I cannot record here because they require some network connection. Actually here I'm practicing my much older hobby which is metalworking. I was working in my father's workshop science kid and actually as a mechanical engineer I like to practice everything not only to do it in the theory. And I know you're not here because of the metal working, but because of CD printers. And actually I have uh, many machines here stored on this shelf, but I don't use them anymore. The one which I really use a lot is the Creality K1. It is here and not in my main working room because the X1C is still better, the Bamboo Lab, compared to this one. But it is two and a half or almost three times expensive printer. But this is a great one also because it is enclosed. Here the temperature in the winter is approximately 14 degrees Celsius, on summer 22. So even on the winter, since it is enclosed, I can print even ABS if necessary, because of the smaller size, it heats it heat up the air much faster compared to the bigger printers. Well, here you can see some of my test equipments, but let's move to my workplace. And currently I'm on my workplace, I work on University Food Engineering Department. And I try to combine my hobby, which is CD printing, and my researchers here. I am searching for different possibilities where can we use CD printing in food industry. Sometimes contact with the food, sometimes not, sometimes some material testing and similar. And the first printer, which was bought by our department, was Industry V2. All oh, those are actually mine from reviews. But I had a problem with that printer, and that was it was too slow. Everything I print here must be finished in that workday during those seven or eight hours. But I had some projects uh, which I couldn't finish yet, and there are no overnight printings and similar. And at that time I got uh, the FSN Super Racer, which was 
super fast compared to the NS3v2 and with this I could finish all those projects. It is approximately three times faster compared to the NS3v2. This is still a great printer and I'm continuously using it. And actually it is the most popular one on any kind of demonstration to my students or on a high school because this delta moving mechanism is so hypnotic and it really looks great. This is completely stock printer, only two things I changed here. One of that is the spool holder and the other is that I replaced the stock extruder with this OMG V2 because the original was not the top one. Uh, by the way, in the meantime, the NT3 V2 was modified, it is printing food now. In the meantime, I bought here Ender 5 Pro or, or S1. And uh, I wanted to show to my students some cubic frame Cartesian. And actually, I was using it because it is not a bad slinger. With static bed, only with the side panels, I could print some bigger ABS parts. And now it is replaced by the Flash Forge. This is Adventure 5M Pro. And the reason actually I bring this one here is that uh, now I don't have to worry if my students have to replace the nozzle because on this printer it is super easy. It can be done in half minutes and I don't have to worry that they will use too big torque or they will burn their fingers when I do the hot tightening. Because of the smaller size it heats up the enclosure very quickly so it is great for ABS parts or similar printings. And it is also very fast, at least two times faster compared to the FS and Super Racer. And I think it's a little bit faster compared to the Bambola printers. The print quality is great. The only disadvantage would be the slicer. This original slicer is not on the top but I have to use that one if I want to use the network connectivity. But Orca slicer is much better, but with this I lose this uh, network compatibility with the printer. But here this is not unfortunately a problem, because here on my workplace I cannot connect to the network any of these printers, so this is not disadvantage here on my workplace. I'm back to my main working room, so this is my computer. Here I have 2D printer, CD printer. Uh, the Prusa Mark III model was my first printer and it was uh, located here. This is now Mark IV. And earlier I used here the IKEA LEC enclosure, but I didn't place it back because I don't really need it anymore. I use it only for PLA, PTG and TPU filaments. And for the enclosure I don't use it anymore because I have much better printers for this. Well, this is the current position of this e like enclosure. Probably I will sell it or something like that because I don't need it anymore. And these are my main printers currently. This is Bembole P1P with the AMS unit. And actually I'm using it only for PLA filaments. And uh, I already tested this earlier. So for PLA materials it is better compared to the X1 Carbon. It is open so it has better cooling but also by default, I'm talking about stock printers, it has a brass nozzle compared to the harder nozzle on the X1 Carbon. So the layer adhesion is better with the P1P compared to the X1 Carbon if we use the different settings in the Bamboo Studio. There is a video about it, so I tested it earlier. If you have this kind of setup, it is important to notice that uh, these AMS holders are my own because the stocks are much uh, lower, smaller, and actually the Teflon tube scratched the bottom of the AMS. So I build another one which is much taller now. This is Bambolab X1 Carbon, and as you can see, there is the filament dryer. This is the iBoss newest uh, filament dryer. I really like the function of this filament dryer that it can rotate the spool during the drying. Of course, during the printing I cannot use that function, but uh, this is very useful because it will dry the filament more equally. As you can see, I don't have AMS unit on it, and actually I don't really need it. I, I'm printing only technical filaments on it, and I place them usually in the filament dryer, or on the back spool, or I'm using these supports, something like this. Actually, this one uses 3D printed ball bearings. And this is Kiddy X-Max 3, a real beast of the printer with a large build volume. It can heat up the nozzle up to 350 degrees Celsius and it also has a heated chamber. It can be heated up up to 65 degrees Celsius. So with this printer actually anything I put inside so far it can just print. Earlier I suffered a lot with the East Suns polycarbonate filament. It warps a lot on any kind of bag slinger inside the enclosure. Here I heat it up to 60-65 degrees Celsius and it was printed completely without any problems. The build quality of this printer is not so great like with the Exxon Carbon. For example, this plastic, I can always hear some noise when it's heating up or down. This is not a capacitive touchscreen but responsive. This means I have to press it a little bit, not enough just to touch it and similar. But actually it prints great. I don't like that it used the BL touch, uh, but I think the newest version used the inductive probe. And they have actually a new version, smaller one, I think it's a Q1 Pro or something like that, which has very similar properties, but it is smaller printer. 
And the question I got so many times, if I could keep only one CD printer, which one would it be? If the question would be which two printers, without any thinking, these two, X1 Carbon and Kiddy X Max 3. Oh, but if only one, well, I think it would be a Kiddy X Max 3. And not because of the quality, especially I hate that the spool holder is on the back side. Look at this, I mean, it is so hard to reach that spool holder. And even the switch is placed on the wrong side, so it is hard to reach the switch because this is huge printer. And actually not because of the quality, but because of its properties. I mean, 350 degrees Celsius on the nozzle are very important for me. And also actively heated chamber. This is also a game changer. Uh, really much easier printings we have with those uh, filaments, which tends to warp. And I hope we will see this soon on more and more printers. Well, this was my quick tour, which see the printers I'm using currently in 2024. Maybe a little bit even more information you got here, but uh, this is the current state and probably it will be changed in near future because uh, I will get two best slingers from the Bamboo Lab and also my V400 will replace properly the Super Acer on my workplace. Anyway, I hope you find this video a little bit interesting and I hope you will follow me to my next videos. Thank you for watching and happy printing!